Hi everybody, welcome back to another Project Cars 2 video here on this channel. I'm KPG Gooner here. Now in today's video I'm going to try and attempt to carry on with my career walkthrough. But first up I just want to say, update 3.02 has just been released today. But it's been released with zero patch notes. So I've been on the official sites, the forums, I've asked loads of people. I am still clueless to what they fixed or what they've added on this update. Now I've had loads of issues with online, where I go on to, into online matches, I try and select my car and stuff like that. I get error screens, I've had issues with the tyres, I've had issues with calibration, I've had issues with loads of things since the last update 3.01. What the hell have they fixed? Or has it fixed anything? Who knows? As soon as I find out, I will let you know, I will do a video and give you an update. But uh, let's just try and carry on with this walkthrough. It's not going to be easy because there's so many issues on this game, but I'm going to do my best. So I'm going to get straight to it now. So here we go. Also guys, don't forget to let me know down in the comments uh, what issues you're having with the game. If you know anything about the update 3.02, please share your thoughts. But in today's episode, I'm going to get straight into the next motorsport. Now I asked you to vote quite a while ago in the last couple of episodes and most of you chose the GT3 series. So that's the series we're going to do. It's not going to be easy guys. Like I said, there are so many problems still on this game, which is so disappointing. This game had a lot of potential when it came out, but it's still failing in so many areas now I'm sick of people telling me uh, that they're not having these issues on the PC and the console version is left in this state I hope they do fix it I like I said I don't want to give up on this game but it's so hard to stay positive when most of my friends are turning to other games most people have turned to to uh, Gran Turismo Sport and to be fair guys Gran Turismo Sport is a, is a fantastic game it's a lot smoother but it's not a proper simulation game it's more sim -cade. but also let me know your thoughts in the comments guys um, I just want to stay positive but as a racing YouTube I don't think I've got much choice these are the games that are on the market these are the games that most people are playing so I've got to try and stick with it I know there's a lot of you already saying to me in the comments I've had enough of Project Cars 2 already I'm selling it uh, I'm moving on to something else uh, but I don't I honestly don't blame you um, but I um, Let's just carry on with today's episode. Now, there's quite a few decent cars in the GT3 class to choose from. Now, uh, I have tried a few of these. I've tried the McLaren uh, already in an online race. I've already tried the Porsche. Um, I haven't tried the Ferrari, the Bentley. I'm not sure. I might go with the B. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the BMW. I mean, it's a car that I used to like on Project Cars 1. The Z4 is pretty decent handling hopefully it'll be okay so let's just get straight into this guys i've got no idea how this uh, episode is going to go but hopefully it'll be a good one so let's get straight into it right so here we go with the first race of the uk trophy championship around alton park international we've managed to qualify in first place but only just we weren't a lot quicker than the ai in the qualifying and this is a 10 minute session we need to be consistent in this race there is a lot of corners on this circuit i weren't i wasn't quicker than the ai and we've got to make sure we improve on that in the race and the ai just managed to pull away a little bit quicker off the rolling start but let's just try and hold an outside line there and we've managed to regain the lead fantastic now the temperature is slightly better than it was in qualifying so hopefully fingers crossed is going to be a nice comfortable race but races on project cars 2 are never comfortable so i'm expecting to be pushed to the limit let's just try and hold it around this corner this is one of the corners i was struggling on in qualifying oh got a car coming around the outside of me there right let's just try and hold it inside line get a nice drive around this corner no we didn't carry the speed through there and we've lost our first place already on the first lap I wasn't expect the challenge to come that early on in the race, but the tyres probably aren't up to maximum temperature, so it's going to take a little, maybe one or two laps to get into the rhythm. So that's just try and stick with the leader. We don't want him to get away, and hopefully we can, might be able to get back past him. But it's a really, really tight circuit. There's, is, there is only a few areas on the circuit that are really good to pass on, and we've got to make sure we use that. So let's see if we can just get in his slipstream. And also through this section, I was coming on off here quite a lot in qualifying I kept on touching the grass and the curbs you've got to make sure you don't do that because this car just absolutely 
loses control so easily. Right, just keep it nice and tight through there. Getting a good drive around that turn onto the apex. Right, get a good slipstream. Can we slip up the inside here on the braking? Let's try and take the get lead. Oh, we've managed to get back into first. But no, he managed to just get back into the lead. Oh, my God. I just flew into that corner but didn't carry the speed. And he managed to regain the lead. Can we take it back here? We've got the inside line going into the first corner of the second lap. And we managed to just get back in the lead. And we just forced him out a little bit. Fantastic. It looks like we've got a battle here around Alton Park. Fantastic. I love a battle. Let's keep it nice and tight. And also, guys, I'm using the uh, Logitech G29 for this race. I will be back on my Thrustmaster T300 RS very, very soon. As you keep asking me for a calibration video and uh, what settings I use on that, I will do that as soon as I get it back. Oh, God, I think he just rear-ended me there. Oh, my God, I'm being pressurised completely around this circuit. Now, I think they carry so much more speed around those two turns. I'm expecting them to give me a, a little bit of nudge here and there. Right, just keep it steady, Guna. We need to get into a rhythm. We've still got quite a few minutes to go and quite a few laps. We need to make sure we don't make any mistakes, uh, especially in these good conditions. I don't want to throw it away. Right, let's keep it nice and tight through here. Down to second, into first, keeping the control of this car. It's probably not the best handling of the GT3s, but I love Z4s, so that's why I chose it. Right, let's keep it nice and steady through here. Try to avoid touching the kerbs and just try and carry the speed right get nice and tight to this section drop it down to second up to third and try and get a nice drive into that final corner and we're managing to maintain the lead fantastic we're into a little bit more of a rhythm now the, the, the temperature is up in the tires as well so that's going to make a difference so we go into the third lap still leading the race but uh, there's quite a few laps to go let's see if we can just Pull away slightly from the car behind and hopefully we can get a win in this first round. So this is four rounds this UK Trophy Championship and then we got another championship in the G GT3. So there is going to be quite a few races. Uh, I will try and split the videos up but I am hoping to give you the patch notes and find out what they've actually fixed on this new update 3.02. Right, let's just try and hold it in that turn. Is he going to make an attack? He's managed to take the speed. Oh, God, we've gone a little bit too fast into that turn. Oh, no, he's taken us in the inside. Oh, my God, he went on the outside the first time, and now he's gone in the inside, and we've lost first place again. Right, let's try and get back into lead immediately. Let's just try and hold it through there. Nice and tight. Right, we've got any slipstream, but we've also got to be careful because there's quite a few cars behind us as well. And if we uh, let any more through, it's going to be so hard to get past a, a group of cars. Uh, one is uh, is hard enough. Two or three is an absolute mission. And uh, there is only a few laps in this session, so we haven't got time to muck around. Right, let's get back on it. We've got a little bit of slipstream here. Let's see if we can carry a bit more pace through this section. Be careful, keep on the tarmac. Right, get a nice turn. Yeah, we've caught up with him through there, so we're slightly quicker through this section than they are. And they've just, they're, so there's a bit of a twist in this race, isn't there? So they're quicker in certain corners, and there's other corners where we're quicker. So we've just got to make, um, uh, really good defensive uh, moves in those sections that we're not very very quick just to avoid them getting past uh, but we have to be clever uh, by doing that because if we go go in front of them too much into the turns uh, I'm not sure whether the AL would just shunt me off the track uh, you can't always guarantee they won't do that uh, it is on a hundred percent aggressiveness so they're not going to muck around right let's just try and keep the lead uh, we've got almost uh, half a second there's not a lot and he's gaining on me um, I, I have tried quite a few times to carry the speed through this turn, but I kept on running off the circuit. That's why I'm slowing it down, dropping it into third. And here he comes again. He's going to try and attack in the inside. Let's try and hold it in the inside. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, no, he's managed to squeeze past, you absolute git. Oh, my God. I thought I'd closed him out there, but he managed just to squeeze past. Nice and clean. So fair play to the AI there. He didn't force his way through, but I managed to carry decent speed through there. Can we get back past him here? Oh, we're going to go past him. This is not the area where you wanted to try and overtake, but we've got to be good on the brakes here. Brake, 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 brake. No, have we overdone it? Oh, God, just managed to do it. Oh, my God, that was close. Almost run it straight into the barrier there, but managed just to turn it in, and we're back in the lead. But there you go. Oh, my God. Not the area you want to overtake, but we managed to pull it off, and we have dropped a bit of time there. 
Right, we've got to try and avoid him getting past through those corners. Then we won't have to do that. Let's see if we can just extend the gap. We need to get it to at least a second, maybe two seconds into that corner because he's just going to take me in the inside or go around the outside of me. I just don't have the pace through there. Right, that's the last turn. Going into the next lap and we've still got three minutes to go. So we've got possibly another two laps to go. So we've got to try and extend that gap if we can. Right, just try and hold the speed there. The tyres are starting to wear down nicely as well. So we are going to get a little bit of grip issues maybe into the final laps as well. We don't know whether the weather may change. You never know what's going to happen this game. They do like throwing loads of dynamic weather at you in these races. Please don't rain because that is just going to throw me off the track. I'm telling you, I'm not not looking forward to those sort of races where the rain comes in from nowhere right he's going to go around the outside again can we close him down oh god i think he just backed off and we managed just to hold that i think someone got past him as well looking in my mirror so we managed to just hold him off in that lap but there's still oh god do break soon enough almost ran into that barrier oh my god i'm looking too much at the cars behind it almost cost myself there by running straight into the barrier i always do that you've got to try and concentrate on your own, own race in these races and not uh, just on the cars behind right managed to sort it out in that turn but we've got another car behind us now not the one that's been battling with us throughout the race so far and it looks like we're going to have one more lap to go after this looking at the remaining time so that's try and make it a good one let's try and be really really defensive and try not to make any mistakes right looking at the time we need to extend that a little bit more if we can get that up to a second it gives us a better chance of holding on to this victory right a last turn oh god just not as quick as i would like but we're still in the lead right going into the final lap so here we go can we get our first win of this uk trophy championship in the gt3 series let's just try and hold it into that turn not bad and we've got it up to still not a second they're still pretty close so they still got a chance of maybe regaining that uh, position back off me right managed to hold it through there a little bit of the apex there right we've got to hold our position through here we can't afford to give him any uh, space to get past right let's try and hold it around there and is he going to make an attack here he comes he's going to go in the inside God, he almost ran straight into the back of me, but just managed to close him off as he just made an attempt to get past. But luckily, there wasn't enough room for him to get past. And the AI actually showed a really clever racing there. He put the brakes on. He did. He could have run straight into me there, but he didn't. So maybe that's an improvement. I don't know. I haven't done enough races on this game to to. Um, suggest that that is an improvement until they let us know exactly oh god just caught the curb there what they fixed uh we've got no idea so i'm just going to have to run a few things what i might do uh later on today is go through some of the things that i noticed from the last patch and see if they're still a problem uh but i will definitely do that later in the week as well guys uh, check everything out all right let's keep it nice and tight through there i definitely will be doing some online races uh on this game this week as well um hopefully we can see some improvements from the last patch right last corner this is looking good for our first victory and yes it's gonna be fantastic what a battle that was we managed to take the win and there you go we move on to the next round so here we go fantastic so we managed to get a win in the first race of the gt3 uk trophy championship and uh, we did have to battle for that throughout that race i was struggling on a few corners around that circuit i just didn't have the grip i was struggling with the braking on the uh, on the z4 but we managed to battle through did i get the fastest lap i'm not sure do i get the bonus no i didn't get the fastest lap but we did win the race and that puts us in first place we've got another three uh, races in this championship so let's get into what's coming next so here we go also guys i'd really appreciate if you'd hit that like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed and keep supporting the channel into the new year i'm hoping to bring you loads of new content in the new year that you're going to enjoy it's all going to be racing loads of new games coming out i'm so excited for the new year please please join me now we've got snet and 300 in the next round so hopefully that will be another decent race in the z4 thank you so much for watching and i will see you very very soon